as a designer, the first thing you learn is to visualize the audience. And different audiences require different messages. So in this case, where the audience is very undefinable, everybody's in the subway, right? So it's old people, young people, people who are literate, people who can't read, all of that stuff goes on. So your audience is very complex. But here, we were talking to everybody and for different reasons. One of the reasons we were talking to some of that audience was to elevate the idea of the institution and the fact that it existed, that there was a place in New York that provided education. So you were talking to a general audience as well in terms of promotion and awareness. And then you were talking specifically to those kids you wanted to come to the school. So you had a couple of a couple of reasons to exist and you try to fulfill all of them. One of the things I consider to be essential in a relationship between client and practitioner is goodwill and a feeling that um, you're in the same boat. We want to look provocative, we want to look different. We want to say we're not like everybody else, but that is risky because you want to take a client along with you in communicating something where there's an element of doubt. If there's no element of doubt, it's like everything you see every day. Acknowledging how, when someone you love gets sick, how intense your feeling of love is for them, as though you hadn't realized it before, right? And I realized that uh, everyone in New York wanted to say, I really became aware of how much I love this city. And so I love New York more than ever seen an appropriate general response. And then I had the idea of putting a stain on the heart at the lower left hand, like where the damage had been done. Every once in a while you realize that these abstract symbolic responses move people in a way that you never dreamed of. They're only a little piece of black or a little knife cut or a little, and yet they have such a profound effect on human consciousness. It's very hard as a practitioner, somebody in the world with a practice for your work to become seen and known. And the great benefit was that my work was seen immediately by thousands of people on the subway and then picked up in other forms. So curiously, even though it represents a tiny piece of the spectrum of information, it got an enormous amount of coverage. And so the design magazines cover it. Uh, it was enormously beneficial to me personally for people to identify that as my work.